Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut and I want to start this week by saying thank you. Thank you to all of the nice people last week. Nice comments. Positive, you can do it. Last week, <laughs> I spent the weekend like this. It was so horrible. But this weekend, uh, wow. We, 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 try and, we try and do videos for everyone. So whether it's a seven minute Urban Uncut that walks around a couple of cars or a 20 minute feature with NC, which went down very well. We, or a celebrity handover. Or a celebrity handover. Though we have to mix it up because our weeks are never the same, are they? So the urban uncuts are never going to be 30, 40, 50 minutes of the same same thing. You know, we have to we have to adapt to the weeks that are given to us. So everyone that commented this week very nicely and very positively, can you just come back every week and just say the same thing again, and then we'll all feel warm and fuzzy on. Monday. There we go. So speaking of this week, we have the Stealth Lister, unbelievable sounding car. I really enjoyed driving that. Did Very cool. Is that the first Very time cool. you've driven one? Yeah, yeah, really, really I, cool. Thing. I liked uh, the F pace winds up. You can hear the super jet, like it, yeah. it really does kick, doesn't it? But like I say, that it's that platform, the five litre V8 supercharger in a slightly smaller vehicle yeah, right, than yeah. an L494 yeah, Sport. It's, it, great. it's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant car. Black Range Rover Sport, our first OEM colour, because obviously yeah, we've, we've been building special cars. Grigio so Celesto far. and Estrel Blue. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh, and I've I think I broke my nose as well. <laughs> me mate, me mate Franco, he, um, he he was so pleased to see me that he jumped up and headbutted me. And he's got a big monster bonds. He's got a big head. If you want some, I'll give it to you. You basically got beat up by, by my dog. own dog, but it's all good. Did it really happen? Is this like a, I bumped into the, the cupboard, <laughs> cupboard door? Scenario? No, genuinely, I got headbutted by my dog. I'm just going to ring Holly. I reckon. It was Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I reckon it was Holly. She, she, I Right, well, well, before before we before you go anywhere, I need to show you something that was released. I know what you're gonna put up on the screen. The Pura Sangue Pugnata by Mansory. Firstly, how do you say is it pure? I think I think it's pure I think it's pure pure sangue. But look, it's we have to, first things first, we have to respect Mansory. Obviously they're a competitor, but their style in Mansory is very different to us, but they're incredible at releasing new products at a very, very fast rate. Yeah, they? I mean, the, the, the team there is must be it, huge. The incredible. Must be huge. Yeah. And, yeah, and respect to the way they do it and how quickly they get out and the fit and finish. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think the- oh, I think the, like I think critique the name first. <laughs> the Pugnator. I, when you told, I didn't know. When you yeah. told me, I thought you was joking. No, it's, it's called the pug nata, and we know what what pugs look like. You know, they're half dog, half guinea pig. I, yeah, I know. I know what a, a pug looks like. It's one head butted you. Ugh, that's a. He's a. Sta Who am I looking at? He's a. He's a thoroughbred Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Don't ever. Not my Franco. Don't ever. <laughs> don't don't ever. <laughs> now you're gonna have to put a picture of my beautiful dog on the screen to show people how lovely he is. So um, the repugnator. I mean the pugnator. So look, I think the. I think the Pura Sangue is a, is a problematic car anyway. It hasn't been received. It hasn't been received very well. But look, Mansory are known for their very big and audacious kits is audacious, audacious is that is the right word. words i mean you could have you could have said garish <sighs> but that but, but, but be, you know i go garish positive no, or negative because I, I go back it's, to people it's out there isn't it i go back to people all the time in the comments that taste is subjective there are people out there they're going to look at urban and think maybe it's a bit too subtle they'll look at that and think that is perfect when you modify a car you yeah. want it to look modified and that is i mean generally the person that, bu that buys and drives that is going along the road like this going look, i can afford a million pound for our look at how much money and I've you got. and you and you and you cannot yeah so I, I kind of respect it they you know they go their own way they do what they want you know they're not they're not trying to be subtle it's not my cup of tea but the 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 ferrari red this beautiful color versus the red forged carbon i mean it's like they've tried so hard to be oh she must have heard you yeah she's ringing to apologize for headbutting it headbutting you yeah so red forged carbon red in the wheels it, it really does show off their abilities oh, it is yeah i mean they've done everything even down the rear window like this the the mansory light up rear thing there i can't even begin to imagine the tooling cost for that. I don't even want to. I mean, how many individual parts, components are there? Incredible, isn't it? 50, 60. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, amazing job. Yeah. Taste is subjective. What do you guys think? Mansuri Pug Natal. So you know that we specialize in the LR side of JLR. Well, this is the J size. Check out this absolutely awesome Lister Stealth. So if you know your motorsport heritage, you would have definitely have heard of Lister. They're friends of ours. So as you can see, this vehicle is based on a Jaguar F-Pace SVR. Same with the Range Rover SVR V2 kit, we have a replacement carbon fiber front bumper. Exposed carbon grills, exposed splitter. We've got wider arches, 23 inch forged alloys, and then if you come to the back, we've got a lip spoiler, and then finished off with a really aggressive rear diffuser with quad pipes. So the L494 Sport SVR is probably the performance car that I've spent most of my miles in. The five litre supercharged V8 is my favorite engine by far. Now, that's quite a big car. I look at the F-Pace like a big estate car. It's kind of like a crossover. It's not a pure SUV. So we at Urban obviously concentrate mostly on exterior styling. This car has been tuned. It's around 666 brake horsepower. I've driven a lot of standard five litre V8 supercharged. I need to see what this goes like and what it sounds like. So I'm taking it for a drive now. So we've just left Urban. I'm gonna let the car warm up, let the tires warm up. But already this is such a nice place to be. I mean, the F-Pace is, I don't think it's a pure SUV because it feels more like a, a, a tall estate car, but I think that works in its favor that it feels a little bit lighter and nimble. But already it's such a lovely place to be with the full custom interior with Lister branding on the gear selector, the steering wheel full interior it's just absolutely lovely and already you can hear that exhaust and i've not even got over two and a half thousand revs yet so i'm looking forward to seeing this car warmed up and seeing what you can do right so we're fully warmed up first foot down test ready I love these engines. I love these engines. So this is the five litre V8 supercharged that, that I've driven most in a Range Rover SVR. I mean, we did, you know, 2000 miles on the Yanomai's Rally in a, in a 600 brake horsepower Range Rover SVR. And that's probably the performance car that I've spent most of my time in. It's 
so loud. So that engine in a smaller car, but not only that, but tuned. So this is the best part of 666 brake horsepower. And that's down to a shortened supercharger pulley, tuning and exhaust and it makes such a massive difference. And the great thing about supercharged engine is that it's instant power. There's no turbos to spool up, but the car itself, <laughs> it just seems, uh, look, and I'm a massive fan of the Range Rover SVR, the 494 SVR. That's one of my favorite cars but this just seems like it's got a little bit more fizz about it. And I think it is down to it being in a slightly smaller car, but that exhausts. Listen to the downshifts, the pops, the crackles. And every time you change gear, <laughs> I don't even want to talk, I just want to drive it. Are you getting on cab? <laughs> you got like, it's the ab, you're getting an abs workout, aren't you? <laughs> it just stays so flat. The roads are quite greasy, we've had a lot of rain overnight, but it just sticks. And then when you want to go, it just goes. And that second gear pull, I think down to the tuning, it's just so much more than a standard five litre V8 supercharged. I, I'm lost for words, it's so much more. That's, that's, that's all I've got to say. So guys, let us know what you think to that Lister. Super cool, super quick, and I think Lenny enjoyed it. Now, we are in the middle of pre-production on the Range Rover Sport. It's gonna be hugely popular. You've seen our halo colors, the Grigio Telesto and my Estoril Blue car, but the signature urban look has always been black on black. And we just built our first car and it looks amazing. I'm gonna let Lenny give you a little review on the car. Around this time last year, we were preparing for SEMA. When we got back from SEMA, the next project on the go was the Range Rover Sport, the L461 Sport. As you can see, the kits are now coming through thick and fast. We did the first Grigio Telesto grey launch car. We've done Simon's Estoril blue car, but this car is in Santorini black. This is an OEM color. So this is the first OEM color Range Rover Sport we have done. And I think this is probably a fairly typical spec of what we're gonna be doing in the future. UC 924 inch alloys, our full wide track kit in this Santorini black. It looks absolutely incredible do do a lot of black and gray cars. Yeah, because that isn't that 90 percent really, of everything behind us it, is black. It, but yeah. that isn't our choice. You know, I saw a comment, like quite a negative comment. Oh look, Urban, another black car. It's like and look, as much as we love doing these bespoke colour changes, like the Grigio Telesto grey one, the Estoril blue one, black is the most popular. We are a business, we are here to make money. I know everyone always gets in the comments and say, do Urban only do black cars? It's because black is the most popular. We don't pick and choose what the customer wants, they do. And if black with black looks the best, if that's what they want, that is what we are gonna build. Having said that, black with black is my favourite colour. Get in the comments and let me know what colour you would have your L461 Range Rover Sport.
Right, guys, thanks for watching this week. What did you think to this episode? Remember, be nice, don't be horrible. <laughs> if you've got something to say... <laughs> if you've got something horrible to say, don't, don't. say it. <laughs> Just scroll on, if you can scroll on on YouTube. Yeah. Next week, we've got coming up, we've got some more stuff. We're filming with Jan next week. Mm -hmm. We've got Jan's Revelto. Yeah. New colour going on that, which is a little bit out there, and it's one of his... It's very out there. I quite like it. Yeah, I, I okay, like it's it. different, it's different. But it's one of Jan's colours, he's got four special colours yeah. going, coming out as wrap products, it's the start of his new range. Really cool. Which is quite exciting, so we're filming that, he's got a new sport, we're going to rip the Revelto and the sport around together, yeah. which should be pretty exciting. And so now, now we're in October. We can officially say next month we are at SEMA. How quickly does that come around? <sighs> that genuinely feels like a couple of months ago that we were last there. Yeah. So last year we had a full size Range Rover and a Ghost. Uh, we've sold plenty of full size Range Rovers this year. Not enough because we're hand to mouth and we're back to back and we're mm -hmm. so popular and it's all great. <laughs> <and it's laughs> it is. Yeah. But we are going to be showing our first wide body sport in the USA. We're, we're making the sport popular in the USA. Yeah, that's what that's, that's that's the mission is yeah. because it's not as popular in the, it's always about the full size. We want to show the, the Americans how good a sport can look. That's it. So we've got a super cool colored L460 full size Range Rover in this crisp ice bluey sort of nice. color, which looks pretty cool. It's gonna have some Voss and wheels on. We've got the wide body sport, which I think Platinum are gonna wrap in mm -hmm. like a PPF, maybe something like your car. Yeah, nice. Like a su super moss green. Yeah. And we've got some other things going on as well. So that's coming up for you. So, so you know, I have a little bit of an obsession with these lifted trucks in America. You know, like the bit, like they're, they're unbelievable. They spend like a quarter of a million, $300,000 on these trucks. And so some of them, they're not even legal to drive. But, you know, I'm like just under six foot. We know that before you get there. And these, these trucks are like the door is right. above, is the they're point. unbelievable. Do you know, right? I switched off about eight seconds ago. This is the point where I say to you and Reese. That's it, boy. Get in there nice and deep. Like. Reese loves a truck. I'm as just well. going to have a beer while you two go off and. So I want to know off. if there's anyone that's watching, any of our subscribers, <laughs> that, leave this to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, any of my any of our subscribers, any of our subscribers who are based in Vegas who have a lifted truck or have got a shop that they know about with lifted trucks, I want to go and see one up close and potentially drive one. In I the desert. In the desert. So that get in contact cool with content, us, please, because yeah. I really, really, really want to have a look at one of those up close. So Our US friends get in contact. We want to mess up your big fat truck. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we will see you next week.